So Katisha Allen was introduced to beekeeping, or some people say apiculture, some people say apiculture, at an early age. With training from various entities, she has managed to garner the expertise and now has 75 colonies. Don't ask me what is a colony. She zooms to tell us more about her buzzing business. Katisha, morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning, Neville. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? We can't complain. Give thanks and thanks for asking. All right, tell me about the business, though. How you started, why you started this business? Well, over the years, I have uh, one hive of bees, didn't know much about it. So I always want to learn more about it. But what really spurred me to go into this business full time, one particular year, from that one colony, I gained 21 quarts of honey. So there and then I realized this can be a business. 21 quarts of so honey. So then I... Right. What's a colony? So a colony is a hive of bees. So it's made up of a queen and all the workers, the drones and all of that. Okay. So you don't afraid you get, what I must say, bite or sting, bees sting. You don't afraid you get, <laughs> you don't afraid you get sting. Sting? No, I'm no longer afraid of sting. I'm immune to sting right now because, I mean, in one day I got over the stings. So I'm immune to it. It don't even swell my body anymore. Hold on, Katisha, man. One day the bees them sting it 50 times? Yes, I opened this colony of bees and they just all swarm out and I run and they just fly after me and I drop on the ground and I roll and I just get sting, sting, sting. My body started to shake. But long and behold, I've overcome that. I no longer swell when they sting me, it's like nothing anymore. But don't you wear protective gear? Yes, I do, but that part of the time. My pants was a bit tight, so I guess the sting got through it. Wow. All right, tell me the process. Tell me the process going from bees to, to honey. What, what happens? Tell me how it works. All right, so honey is a seasonal thing. So the bees produce honey from about January to April. So during that time, you can harvest your honey. Out of that time would be the dirt period, so nothing is blossoming, nothing is blooming. So you would normally have to feed your bees. You'd have to take care of them, else they would suffer and die. Wow. Um, where you get to get rid of the honey? Is it just local? Do you export? What, what do you do? No, for now I'm doing local sales, but it's my goal to do export, so I'm working on that. Yeah. Is honey just honey, like all honey is the same kind of honey, or your honey different from another kind of honey, or honey is just honey? Well, my honey is strictly natural. It's 100% honey, straight from the apron to the bottle. Oh. Is that all you do? Do you have other things on your farm, if you have a farm at all? I also do crops. So last year I did sweet potatoes, now I have pineapples and they're actually bearing now. I have pineapples, I do pumpkins sometimes because actually you can actually feed your bees by planting. So what I normally do, I normally plant pumpkins in my apron and they feed on those blossoms and help to build up themselves. So during the time when I have pumpkin and when you open my hive of bees, the comb is very yellow. So you know they're using that blossom. Um, but you said it's seasonal, so you, you don't earn at all when it's, it's not in season, you don't earn at all from it? Well, I can earn from it because I can always sell the bees. Oh. So I can split a hive of bees and sell it. And then I have the hive there, I can build back on that. And also when it's seasonal, I have the honey selling. Yeah. I don't know if I must call you, is it farming? Do you, are you a bee farmer? Is, is farming the word you use with, with Right, bees? I'm a beekeeper. A beekeeper. Well, I'm a farmer, right, so I'm a farmer slash beekeeper. Okay, so when you sell the bees, you just, somebody come and you just take up a couple of them and sell it? Or her? Yes, I didn't hear that. But since I'm a new bee, since I'm a new beekeeper, 
I am not selling any bees right now because what I want to do, I really want to expand on what I have. Okay. And you can just look at one of them and know that that is a man or a woman or how, they, how you know the difference? Oh yeah, there's a big difference. So the male bees, they're called drones. So they are much bigger than the worker bees. So they're fat. And then they are lazy too, so they move kind of a bit slow. <laughs> and then the worker bees, the worker bees, they're very hard working, so they're always on the go. And also the queen, you can know the queen different. She's a bit longer. And as you know, a lady, her butt is sexier. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I know, we don't go past the male bee. You say the male bee is the lazy bee. <laughs> yeah, the male bee is the lazy bee. So during the dirt period when they're not finding for food, the worker bees would normally do when the hive began to starve, they would normally kick out the worker bees and kill them because they don't serve any, they don't serve much purpose than to eat. <laughs> apart from the need to be the queen once in a lifetime. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> if someone wants to get either your bees or your honey, how will they find you? <laughs> All right, so I'm on Instagram at St. Best Golden Honey Job. That's S-T-B-E-S-S, -S, Golden Honey Job. I'm also, I also have a YouTube channel, St. Best Golden Honey Jobs. You can go on there, have very informative videos, interacting videos. You can learn a lot from them. I can also be contacted at 328-5550. That's 328-5550. Hey man, great to see you. This, I enjoyed that interview just now. I stopped up both man lazy. I'm a big silly for that still. That's all. Great to see you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Neville. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Our pleasure. Um, Katisha Allen, beekeeping, again, apiculture, apiculture. On the other side of the break, folks, we hear the story of two sisters who are simplifying math. I'm going home now because I'm told that they're going to give me a daily some math quiz business. Daily alone doing that because I don't want to be um, embarrassed on television. So stay with us. Stay with Delia. Soon come.